Now the next step is that we need to install the Kaleidoscope theme. Now when you purchase the Kaleidoscope theme through the Lazy Cat Themes website, you're given a list by email and also from the account, my account console, of the downloadable things that come with the Kaleidoscope theme. And there are three things, but the two important ones for this tutorial are the Kaleidoscope theme and what we call the Kaleidoscope child theme. And I'm going to teach you how to install both of those in the correct way so you can really push forward and start to make your awesome vlog. So the first thing we're going to do is click on the appearance area and then we're going to click add new theme and then we're going to go to upload theme and then we're going to choose the file and the first file that we're going to choose is what we call the parent theme which is the lazy cat kaleidoscope dot zip file that you will have downloaded either from the email when you bought the theme or from your my account page from lazy cat themes and that's a zip file and you're going to choose that file and then you're going to hit the install now button and wordpress will do the rest you'll receive a screen like the following now what i would say to do is not to activate the theme we never want to activate this parent theme. We want to actually go back to the theme screen and add a new theme. Click on add new theme, upload theme, and then we choose a file. And now we're going to choose the child theme, which you've also downloaded in a zip file, the same way that you've downloaded the Kaleidoscope theme. And we're going to install it in exactly the same way as we installed the Kaleidoscope theme. And then when we get to the theme installation confirmation screen here, we're actually going to activate the child theme. Now, what we've done is we've actually installed the Kaleidoscope theme at this stage. And we've done it in such a way that you're running a child theme where if you need to make modifications to the Kaleidoscope theme, you can do that through the child theme. But if we ever need to update the Kaleidoscope theme, you can install a new update and it's not going to affect all the changes you have made. What we're doing now and what we're looking at now is a best case scenario. And as you can see, we can now click on the website and it now has the Kaleidoscope theme and it's working with a little bit of standard WordPress data. And we're ready to push forward and build our blog.